After spending 12 years on the sideline at the Division II and high school basketball ranks, including nine seasons as women's head coach at Colorado Mines, Paula Kruger returned to her alma mater, Northern State. On the heels of another three seasons as an assistant, Kruger is now head coach. Kettleland's Bailey Millen has that story. Northern State women's basketball coach Kurt Fredrickson announced his retirement after 39 years last April, handing the reins to former Wolf standout Paula Kruger. You can't throw everything away from someone that's won 846 games. You would be crazy to do that. And so I've tried to take the things that are comfortable for me. Kruger spent the past three seasons as an assistant coach with the Wolves, and while the players are familiar with her personality, they're noticing some differences between Kruger and her mentor. Our practices have changed um, tremendously as far as the intensity and the energy go. And that comes back to um, Coach Kruger and our two assistants as well. And I come from maybe a different generation of that, that coaching piece, and so you know, fist pumps and chest bumps and all those kinds of things are more part of are my personality, and so I'm able to maybe bring that. Kruger also brings a wealth of experience from an athlete's perspective as a two-time NAIA national champion at NSU. Now when you're on this side, you can look at it from when I was a player and the things that I carried with me when I played, I can carry on now with me as a coach. She was two-time national champion and MVP uh, and just being around that and having wanting to write our story in um, the, the record books of Northern State um, I think is our main mindset. The Wolves hope to build on an already rich tradition by embracing those who have come before them. Being able to bring them back to the fold, um, you know, letting them know that this was built on all the things that they did and we need to use that, you know, their stones, their steps to help add our own. In Aberdeen, Bailey Millen, Kelloland Sports. The Wolves split two games at the Central Region Challenge in Kruger's first weekend at the helm and host presentation on Thursday night. The Augustana men's basketball team hosted Shatteron State. We'll have the highlights next. The Augustana men's basketball team opened the season with a split in Lancaster, Texas, beating Southern Arkansas before losing to Henderson State. Tonight, the Vikings played their home opener against Shadron State. Opening half, Augie starts strong as Tyler Reimersma supplies a steal, lobs it ahead to A.J. Plitzewhite, and the former Vermilion standout scores off the window, 10-3 Vikings. Minutes later, off the inbounds, Reimersma surveys his option, drives a baseline, and scores two of his game-high 21 points. Augustana leads 19-10. On the far end of the floor, tied at 31, the Eagles grab the lead as Brady Delamont catches and connects three of his 12 points. Chadron State leads 34-31. Late in the half, tied at 34, Augie breaks the press, regains the lead as Plitzewhite leans and scores. Freshman at 19 points, Vikings by one at halftime and improve to 2-1 and one with an 83-69 win over the Eagles. The SDSU football team is set to close the regular season Saturday against rivals South Dakota. The fifth-ranked Jackrabbits have won three straight games, including last weekend's 57-38 victory at Southern Illinois, and will look to cement a top-eight seed and first-round bye in the FCS playoffs with a win against the Coyotes. After allowing just two touchdowns in their past two home games, the Jacks' defense will attempt to slow USD and junior quarterback Austin Simmons. Their offense is geared to the quarterback making plays, and he's doing that. He does a good job of throwing the ball. He does a good job of running the ball. And they find ways. Coach Nielsen find ways to attack the weakness of your defense. So we need to change things up and make it tougher on him. The Jackrabbits and Coyotes cross paths Saturday at Dana J. Dykow Stadium.